Good morning. Back another video. Been short of some videos lately, but it is the king's birthday today, and we get a six-day weekend or a vacation. Uh, so I've just arrived at my place. I arrived late last night, and I saw a little bit of the sunset. I've splurged a little bit above my normal budget for accommodation to get an amazing view. Are you ready to see the view? Let's enjoy it together. I woke up and let's have a look. See if you can guess where I am and then I'll tell you. Here it is. about 60 Australian dollars. I'll put on screen some other prices for this place. Um, so it's a bit more expensive, but I've got the pool, I've got the view, um, I've got a bit of a kitchen as well, it's pretty cool. And we are in John Tiam Beach. I'm here for three nights, and um, maybe it's the beach next to Patea, which is very famous and very infamous. Um, maybe we'll go spend a couple of nights down that way. Uh, there's plenty of videos about why Patea is very famous, but we're going to find some of the other things you can do here in Patea. Um, swimming, food, uh, attractions. We're going to do some of the other things that Patea is probably not famous for. So let's do that. So today, I think we'll just go first impressions. Just go have a walk along John Tian Beach, see what we can get, see how much maybe a breakfast or a coffee is going to cost. Uh, have a feel of the water, see if it's, it's as warm as the water over at Hua Hin. It's the water facing Hua Hin, so it should probably be a similar temperature. And um, yeah, let's do it. Let's go. Jom Tian Beach. Uh, this is in the Chonburi province. So first time being in this province. This is quite a long beach. I believe it's like seven kilometers or so all the way around. Got some mountains in the background. It's really nice. Beautiful day. Uh, the, it's getting hot. The water. Just putting my feet in the water now. There is a bit of a chill there, so it's not too hot. In Hua Hin, the water is quite warm. Down this way is more slightly north, and around the peninsula, around the peninsula is uh, Patea. I think this is Koh Lam Island. I had planned to go there uh, throughout the weekend. I have to research what am I going to do over there and how I'm going to get around over there, but I had plans to go to Koh Lam. But we're just going to walk along this beach, enjoy the sun, have a swim, and have some brekkie. Uh, yeah, let's do it. So 
So there are plenty of um, buses from Bangkok you can get to Pattaya. I was actually lucky to get a lift from another teacher to get to this area. Uh, it took us from Song Samut Songkhan yesterday, it took us about uh, almost four, four hours, probably four hours, uh, which is quite long. It's normally to take two and a half hours or so, but there was a lot of traffic coming this way and a lot of roadworks. And there was also a lot of traffic going away as well because I believe a lot of the Thais will go to their hometowns in the northern provinces for the six day weekend. It's not quite a six day weekend, it's uh, today is the King's birthday on the Friday and then Tuesday and Wednesday was going to be a public holiday as well. I'm not quite sure what it was, I put on the screen what it was going to be. So it was just Monday to work, yeah, and then eventually everyone was going to probably not show up so they've just turned it into a six day weekend so lucky me so I'm gonna spend three nights here in this beach and then maybe we'll spend a couple nights in a cheaper accommodation uh, in Patea. I'll have to catch the bus back to Bangkok so I'll let you know how much that costs and um, just follow the series. I think I'll make three, four videos down this way throughout the weekend. So if you're interested in this area, what you can do, apart from the things that it's famous for, um, follow along. So let's go for a swim, I think. Let's go for a swim. Oh, let's go. temperature is perfect for me it's not too hot not too cold people paddleboarding that would be good fun this area has actually got lifeguards so this is a lifeguard area um, you have to be careful I've read that you got to be careful of uh, stingers like uh, jellyfish um, things that might sting you so you got to take that risk when you go for a swim there are a few signs about about it but that's sort of for the risk you're to take when you go in the ocean. A little bit of trash, but not too much trash. All right, let's jump in. Also, I've read that, especially after rain, that parts of this beach and Patea Beach can be not very nice due to the runoff of water of pollution and stuff like that so yeah that's what it's, that's some honest things that I've read but it seems okay um yeah here we go welcome to Jom Tian Beach nice Uh, the reason I chose John TM to stay first is the hotel. I think that's my hotel over there. A view to lay number seven. There's quite a lot of view to lay. Is just value for money. Obviously, when everyone wants to come this area, they think Patea. So maybe this area is a bit. Um, that's in Patea is where the party is, where the. I think it's more famous than this area. So I got a bit more value for money to be able to get a view of the water and a pool. That's what I wanted. I wanted a view and a pool. Um, so 
so I got that for 60 Australian dollars. So this area is a bit more quiet, a bit more chilled. There are restaurants, there is a bit of that nightlife that people may want on this side of the um, the beach. Uh, I saw a little bit of it last night, just walking through the streets. So you can get that sort of life here. But we will check out the, uh, the other area in a future video. So yeah, I basically chose this area just to see what it's like, if it's a bit more chill, a bit more quiet, a bit more my life, what I'm interested in. The beach, just quiet, nice pubs. Um, and then, yeah, better value for money. That's why I chose this area first. There is every sort of budget at the moment. I think uh, it's slow season, so you can get, you know, your own room for anything from $12 to as much as you want to spend yeah so there's every budget out this way there's plenty of infrastructure to have different um prices and pools or no pools views or no views depends what you want family places so it's a very built out area and yeah i'm gonna enjoy it i'll finish this swim and then we'll go get some brekkie see how much breakfast costs